way, our curriculum to date, or until we engaged in this initiative, uh, had, had not evolved to the extent that, that the field has evolved. So uh, we took it upon ourselves to really bring a significant change to our program. We've run this dual stream for about 10 years now. Students choose either to focus on a lecture-based stream or they could focus on a project-based stream. Well, in third year, I've had comments coming back from students who have been in both of these streams. The lecture-based one said, wow, I'm so glad I took that. It gave me so much background that I've really been able to make use of in third year. The ones that took the project-based stream said something similar. Boy, am I glad I took that stream. I went to a co-op interview and I just killed. No! No! And really what we thought of is that we need to take both of these advantages that the students are really enjoying and put them together so that we're not forcing them to choose between the two. They all come into a common program that gives them both of those advantages where they're going to get a lot of technical background and they're going to get a good open-ended problem to solve so that they have engineering and science experience all together. We've tried in the past to make sure that the topics taught in the, in the lectures support the experiments and those mini projects they do in the labs. Um, in the new curriculum that is going to be actually enhanced tremendously because we're going to have sort of a flow of information and, and an arrangement of courses that's going to take the strongest aspects of that and allow it to sort of continue throughout the term. So we're actually looking at doing quite a bit of integration between foundational topics like mathematics and applied topics such as electromagnetics to try and bring closer together the, um, the theory and the application and they can see directly and very quickly how one helps the other. I'm going to sort of repeat this process, but I'm going to look at something that is uh, inside that interconductor. The new curriculum, courses content is important, but what's even more important is problem solving. In order to solve problems, you have to be associative. In other words, you have to grab ideas from different places, leading us to the concept of divergent thinking. In order to do divergent thinking, what we have to do in a university setting is we have to go across boundaries. And that's exactly what President Toop said in his trek 2010, beyond the boundaries of traditional discipline. It's fine to talk about that in the abstract, but how do we do it in practice? I actually was able to do this by integrating a math course and an electrical engineering course seamlessly. This kind of divergent thinking is very important in creating students who can be competitive, not memorizing everything, but innovating and creating new intellectual property to meet the challenges of global competition. Our new curriculum is meant to be a curriculum where the students engage in a variety of activities. In some cases, large classrooms, other times it's a small group experience, and other times it's a lab experience. They're all meant to be integrated such that they reinforce each other and they're connected in, in some way. The learning that is done, say, early in year one gets to be revisited later in year four, perhaps, but with an additional, additional layers. The idea is that you learn more by doing. So the traditional way that tutorials have been run either a TA or an instructor will simply demonstrate problems. Much greater learning can be achieved if the student is more actively engaged. So that's the idea behind these small group sessions. We force the students to solve these problems in front of their peers and in front of an instructor or TA. This way the instructor or TA is able to guide their learning. They can also get help from other students in the class or in that tutorial session if they do get stuck somewhere. And it's just a much more interactive, engaging session than what we're, what we're used to in a, in a standard type of program. We've designed our curriculum to be one where it's, it's living in a way. The students may have learned or experienced certain technologies in year one. By, by the time we take them into year four, we're able, through our, our variety of activities, to bring it to the attention of the students to say, by the way, what we taught you in year one has already changed because there's a new standard out there. The enriched experiences and the engaged experiences that our students will be uh, living through in this, in this uh, curriculum, that these, these experiences will stay with them for the rest of their lives.